Yes, the financial problems, they continue for the Buffalo Catholic Diocese, and it looks like it's moving closer and closer now to filing for bankruptcy. And a lot of it has to do with all of the lawsuits filed by survivors of pre-sex abuse, as we hear from Two on Your Side's Kelly Dudzik. The newly released financial report from the Central Administrative Offices of the Diocese shows the diocese has less than two-thirds of the cash on hand it had in 2018 and says there are significant financial challenges. Those concerns come as the diocese faces lawsuits filed under the Child Victims Act. The diocese reports a roughly $5 million net loss in assets from 2018 to 2019. It also shows a $1.5 million drop in donations to the Fund for the Faith. The report addresses the impact the lawsuits are having on the diocese, saying it's determined filing for Chapter 11 bankruptcy is imminent. Thursday, a spokesperson for the diocese told me there is nothing new here. Bishop Scharfenberger has already indicated the diocese is considering a Chapter 11 reorganization and in all likelihood will go down that route. And that is what Bishop Scharfenberger told our Steve Brown earlier this month. I think it is soon. I think within weeks, not months. I think the positive benefits would probably outweigh the negatives. And given the real challenges that the diocese is facing financially, it seems all but inevitable. The reasons? Thursday, the spokesperson for the diocese said they would include the fair and just restitution for victim survivors versus a litigation approach that would favor those first in line with initial costly settlements depleting the diocese resources. The report also reiterated net proceeds from the sale of the bishop's residence, which sold last year for $1.5 million, will be used for future child sexual abuse claims. This financial report is part of the Western New York Catholic publication. On the second to last page, there's a list of resources for sex abuse survivors and information about a class parish and Catholic school employees and volunteers who work with children are required to take now addressing child sexual abuse awareness. Kelly Dudzik, Channel 2 News.